my name's Emma, I'm a um, staff nurse on Ward 1 at the Beckling Centre, which is a female ward. Um, we do have male wards upstairs, but this ward is solely for women. What is the Beckling Centre? Uh, so the Beckling Centre is a hospital for people who are unwell, um, struggling with day-to-day -day activities. Um, so you'd go, for example, to St James's or LGI for physical health complications, um, whereas you come here if uh, your mum is struggling with the thoughts and feelings and will come and talk to us and get support with that. What support will my mum get? So when she comes, she'll be shown around the ward. Um, she will we'll introduce ourselves and your mum will have a primary working team which involves two nurses um, and a support worker. Um, your mum will always be ha have the opportunity to speak to people about how they're feeling. How long will my mum be here? That can vary for different people, it can be different, um, but it, you know, it's a short term place is this, it's not for long term, um, so you know, we, we don't have an average day really, it's just when your mum is better, when mum is back to herself and can manage day to day. Can she come home to visit? Not at first, because we just need to get to know your mum a bit more, work out how we can best support her. Um, and then the, we have a discussion with the doctors and we talk to them. Um, and then we come up with a plan about when mummy can come home. And it'll be a slow process and mummy will come home for a couple of hours. Um, and then maybe some home, some overnight leave when mummy's ready for it. And that's something we discuss as a team. Hi, my name's Amber Brodie and I'm a charge nurse at Ward 1 Becklin. Where will my mum sleep? Your mum will have her own bedroom on the ward. Um, on the ward we've got two living rooms, two lounges with TVs and places to sit. We've got a dining room that is open all day every day with facilities to make yourself some tea and toast and stuff like that. And then that's where your meals would be served. What does sectioned really mean? So sectioned means when somebody is really unwell, maybe struggling with their day-to-day -day lives and they need to come into hospital but maybe aren't able to make that decision themselves at that time. So they would come in under a section until they are better and able to make that decision for themselves. Who does the section? That consists of three different people. Um, it's often two doctors and then something called an AMP, which is a mental health practitioner who is usually a social worker and they'd come out and assess your mum and fill in some forms and then bring bring your mum into hospital. Why are the doors locked to come onto the ward? The doors are locked mainly to keep everybody on the ward safe and make sure that nobody gets in that shouldn't be on the ward. Staff are always around and always happy to let people off the ward when when they're wanting to go out. Some people do need a member of staff with them when they go out, so that's just to make sure that the right support is offered when people are going out. What happens if someone runs away? So if somebody run away, we would be concerned about that person. We would try and look for that person, maybe give them a call or give the family a ring and try and get them back as safely as possible. Sometimes we do need to have the help of other people, so we do sometimes call the police, and that was just to make sure that your mum gets back to the ward safely. Will I be treated like a carer, even though I'm young? Yes, absolutely. It doesn't matter of your age, you're still classed as a carer. Are there any groups or activities for my mum? Yes, we have lots of groups. Um, on the ward, we've got a pool table, we've got a pamper room, which the which most of the women really like. We can do face masks, paint nails and things like that. We also do groups off the ward. So we do baking, we do a music group, we can play on the guitar or drums. We also do groups outside of the hospital where we often go to Round Hay Park and go for a walk around there or Golden Acre Park and things like that. Will she have to go back in? Sometimes people do come back into hospital. Um, not always, some people are discharged from hospital and don't come back for the rest of their lives but sometimes other people, they can start to struggle again um, and become unwell again and struggle with their day-to-day -day activities so if that was to happen then they would have to come back in for a short while. If I need to talk to somebody, who could I talk to? Anybody on the ward, any of the members of staff are all going to be involved in your mum's care. Um, 
There are nurses and health support workers on the ward who are always around and happy to speak with you if need be. You are welcome to speak with the doctors. You can come into mum's reviews and stuff like that and speak to doctors. Um, so anybody that's involved in mum's care you can speak to.